Hey everybody, this is Derek, and this is a quick tutorial on how you can use the free and open source tool QGIS to georeference an image, basically to give an image uh, a geographic location so that mapping tools will be able to read it and overlay it onto the right point on a map. I'm going to show you how to get to a PNG uh, with some geospatial data, but you can also uh, get to a geotiff file format if that's what your tool needs. So right now I'm looking at an image of the northern coast of South America. This was given to me by a colleague. You can see here that the Amazon River feeds into the Atlantic. Over here, this little divot right there is uh, the town of, or the city of Georgetown, Guyana. And you can see in general, it's this very beautiful high relief map to, that showcases the terrain of northern Guyana. I want to get this image to be georeferenced. So I'm going to load up QGIS. Now, my first step upon loading QGIS is to manage and install plugins. And if you search for freehand, you'll see the plugin here, freehand raster georeferencer, which is a small plugin. I think I will install it in just a couple of seconds. And there you go. Now my plugin is installed, and you can see I have a whole new fancy suite of buttons right up here. Next, I want to get a base map. So I will just go for the OpenStreetMap standard map, and I'll zoom in to South America. Next, I want to add a raster image for georeferencing. So I click on the AD button, and I browse, and I'll navigate to the desktop, where my fancy schmancy image resides. Now, you'll see by default, it imports the image to the center of the screen and makes use of the, the full dimensions that it's available. Our goal is to get this image to map directly onto the base map that we see beneath it. I'm going to hit T plus to increase the transparency a little bit so I can see the base map beneath it. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to adjust the scale. Uh, that's the SC here. And it's all right that the image isn't 100% um, aligned. It's kind of a wonky tool, to be honest. So that was the scale feature. You can also move, which I'm doing. You might have to move and scale a couple of times. There we go. So I can zoom in and zoom out and show that the image pretty much aligns. Great. So now uh, I have a couple of other options. You know, if I wanted to, I could have rotated or adjusted the sides, but now I'm ready for export. So I'm gonna, oops, hit the exclamation points. And then I'm gonna save the file. I'll just make a, uh, New folder. And export. And there we are. The raster has exported successfully. The outputs, as you can see here, are a PNG, a PGW, and an XML file. Um, I've been able to re-import the PNG file into uh, QGIS and then export a, a GeoTIFF, since that's what my mapping tool is asking for. But it's a pretty nifty tool, and it's kind of amazing that all of this is available for free. So thank you to QGIS and to the maintainers of this plugin. So there you go. Happy mapping.